Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Inquisit Inquisitor Mato. Sorry that I was on the wrong um, screen there. And we will go on with the campaign here. The Bastion of Heroes. And the briefing. The Conclave was displeased with my investigation about the Renial um what the hell when Neely incident, the traitors who call themselves as White Rippers were in the belief that are um, that all their rather than perish. Now they are aware of their existence again and launch an offensive against the secret Stonewater home world in Tarantir system. I decided to travel to the Escal um, Escalon Hive world and help them sort out the mess. Okay, let's get into it. Um, it's very high. Do we really want to proceed? Um, yes, I'll try it out. Coordinates the Conclave provided. Meanwhile, all scanners and box transmissions confirm that this hive is under attack by Chaos forces. What is this place exactly for? Our place of remembrance and peaceful prayer. Not that peaceful anymore. Let's follow the sounds of battle. We are steel. We are doomed. We are fighting for our world. And we know. No! Inquisitor, whatever you want, it must wait. I'm quite busy, as you can see. And here I was, thinking that the Storm Watchers are spread so thin that they won't refuse the assistance of the Holy Orders. We are spread thin because of the growing demands of the Holy Orders. And now, I received word that our Gene Seed Repository is under attack. Asking permission to join the battle, sir. Permission granted. Welcome home, brother. Clean this bastion of filth while we move out to defend the repository. You will not ignore me, Grandmaster. The Inquisition embodies the blessed will of the Emperor. Show more respect. Don't dare question my devotion to the Imperium. I respect your rank, but we had no time for pleasantries. Feel free to join our brother in the glorious carnage. Um, new clue. All right. We have located three separate groups of hostiles in the area. Show them no mercy. That, of course, I do not want to do. And I would then like to read out the clue. Wait a second. Um, is it pausing? Yes. And the conclave was displeased with my... Okay, that means... Okay, we are being attacked, so no reading out there. Sorry. Let's take those guys down. Quickly they go. Oh my god. Okay, I see why it was displayed as being very, very difficult. And a Roy with a Berserker looks nice, I have to say. Though I have to say the explosions, I guess, um, effed us up there a tinsy, tiny little bit. That guy down. Inquisitor, couldn't you leave this affair to the Adeptus Astartes? Between you and me, Captain, word for our meddling. If you are jumping straight into a planetary invasion, can I suggest that at least you call in some appropriate assistance again? Referring to your friend, the noble Sir Ambrose Carroll. The pilot of the Crimson Wanderer, indeed. I like the idea. Contact the good knight. Make necessary arrangements for those travels. the Emperor! Alright, so I already see that is <laughs> not that easy to go through. I hope we are right here not under a time constraint. That would mean we are probably not going to make it, but let's find that actually out. So luckily these guys are easy to kill. What I'm not certain about um, to be honest, I think I already forgot why do these guys explode, I think. Inquisitor, I am contacting you through this closed channel. Do you copy? Are you finished down there? No, this is just a lull. Anyway, you must be the Inquisitor who ventured into our ancient outpost. We really need to talk. Later, I suppose. We have been coming. Okay, so I remember how we got into their sacred, um, not housing, but you know what, oh, I need to get out of there, of course, that is hard, um, where we, um, 
ventured through their well post. That was quite nice. So let's go down. Let me take those guys down. You never know when we have to retreat into that direction. So I will try to kill them all off. Okay, there I think was a bigger enemy. I don't know, maybe I'm doing the wrong thing here and killing off too, too many enemies. But anyhow, that's just us right now. On we go, on we go, on we go. A couple of um, those guys up here should be no problem at all. So those close combat guys are insane as you can see. Okay, down. Then the next one, the blood ladder, I want to kill off as ASAP. Because these guys are very hard to deal with. Especially when your suppression rating, um, like now, is very, very low. That is never a good thing. But I have to say, I enjoy... Okay, oh my god, there is a big enemy down like that already. We are slowed because of the chain there, that ain't nice. Come on. Um, I should retreat, regenerate, oh my god. Some rockets into him. Let me take this guy down. If I take, can at least take down those two guys, then even if I wasted our little... Um, missile launcher thing there. I think that was a um, good thing to do. Back to the melter gun, which we haven't used in a while. Which is faring greatly against those guys. I'm really, really glad that I took this gun with me. As you can see, very, really, very really high damage we did there, and that is exactly what I wanted. Good start. Oh yeah, do you hear the background noises? Of course, um, 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 as this is not the, you know, a triple A game like Battlefield, of course the background noises have been way better, but, you know, it's atmospheric at least at all, that is what I like. So those two fall quickly, and of course this um, second season campaign mission is absolutely amazing, because it is... So there the auto fire of course was absolutely good and cool. So that one down, let me take this out and a couple of enemies remain. I wanna of course take down this talon, very nasty thing. And a second equipment champion there, which I think I haven't seen by now, but it could be very, very hard to deal with. Skull take a note. That guys we already have faced. So that was an, a little bit more easier target. Alright, and into this direction we need to go. So luckily these guys have been a little bit closer. That is always nice. Let me switch to the Melda gun here to take the warp talents out because they are heavily armored. Obviously, in power armor. Not good to go up against. Down, down, down. A couple of larger groups of enemies down everywhere. But the auto fire is just amazing, I think. Oh, though, I am. When I um, bought the tree, I was. Seeing, or the skill, I was not sure whether we are going to use it or whether it's going to use us. Um, 
not use us, but benefit us in our ongoing battle. But I have to say, the faster reloading speed of guns, I really think is worth taking. You know that this. You notice that almost instantly. So this guy is nearly down. Let's then kill off his bodyguards, so to say. Yeah, I'm nearly down. That's of course not very good. There was a last second um, inoculator there. All the surroundings down, except that guy. And then one remains. Or two, or three. as we speak. However, I have reports of a full-scale invasion staged in the local void port, and we are tied up in Sector Zeta. I could be of some assistance. Honestly, any help would be most welcome, Inquisitor. I will send you the details. And now, we of course take a little look in the items we have received. Maybe some upgrades um, although the meaning there well this is a hard mission um, don't do it it's a little bit off so you see we did it good maybe I could have even put in the challenge mode that would have been cool but anyhow we shall continue um, okay this one well actually no 202 no, 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 36. I will modify that one and take a look then. 407, 203. Hmm. So I'll take that. And in the end, guys, that brings us to the end of this episode with this splendid looking new armor. And as usual, you know it, I really thank you for watching. If you guys actually have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.